Is this game pretty far along? Mad Irishman, welcome. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. Uh, this is the third alpha I've been in. Uh, it's come a long way since the first one last year I was in. Uh, it's pretty solid. I think it's pretty solid. We'll keep keep tweaking numbers and uh... all right. Uh, where are you now? Yeah, but where are you in uh, Rockwall, or are you already there? All right, because I got your 12s. <clears throat> you going to need more than five, or is that enough? Okay, I'll have to run to Tormouth then. See what I have. All right, put these away. All right, got to run the town. That reminds me of RuneScape. Is, that, is it that deep? I'm deb debating coming on a Fowler. Not sure... What level? Um, yes, it's part it's part uh, Ultima Online. It's part RuneScape. They definitely have a heavier presence in the type of game that it is. Uh, basically, you, you're seeing the graphics. It does have uh, day and night cycles. Uh, here's your destiny board, just to show you this real quick. Uh, this left side is co combat, your armor usage, your weapon usage. Right side over here is your crafting. Uh, each item pretty much has its own. Silent Phoenix, welcome back. Twitch is being nice now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you're deciding to be a, a founder, uh, there's only about two weeks left of this alpha. So if you wanted to play today, you would have to buy either the legendary or the epic. To, to start playing today uh, if you wait uh, I believe it's gonna be going into beta in about four months three four months uh, so you could save yourself and, and buy the veteran pack at the, the uh, 20 20 dollars US however I don't think it's 100% confirmed if there's going to if it's gonna go into beta after this or not um, and then you Depending on you know the extra fluff and items that you, that you see, uh, choosing your founder packs, you know if they seem valuable to you, you know you can always spend more or less. Because right now the epic and legendary founders packs will get you into all alphas and all betas, as well as the release game. Uh, and again, the veteran will only get you to the betas and the release game. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Like I said, it's come a long way. Uh, last over the last week, they've had to do a lot of tweaking for the silver drops and the food usages and stuff like that. So they're still tweaking skills and, and in-game effects. Um, but it's definitely uh, fun. Is the world pretty large? Uh, actually, we're only using I don't know. I'd say about 25% of the world. Uh, <clears throat> Here is the world currently. Um, the green zones are strictly PVE, player versus environment. You see a couple red X's. They'll probably open these up within a week or so. And you scale all the way over to this side of the map. A couple more red X's. They'll uh, open these up as well. Uh, you see the city wall uh, on the middle of the map here. This is actually the separation between the player versus environment versus the player versus player areas. These yellow tag one skull territories are limited PvP where if you're not flagged aggressive uh, and somebody hits you, you only go, get knocked down and lose silver currently. Uh, your items take durability damage so you would have to go back and repair them. However, if you're both flagged aggressive, it becomes 100% PvP loot um, in the yellow zones. The red zones are always 100% PvP, and you can see there's a lot more in the in the map so far. And this is only like part of the main island. If I 
zoom out, which is a static camera. You can't zoom out any fork, but if you come up all the way over here, uh, they have all this land over here, I guess for some type of future uh, expansion. So currently we're only using a, a, a small Right, uh, and give me one sec. Yeah, I got the leather 12 and 12. Uh, give me one second if I do this and move my head. That's pretty much the world map as they have right now. Um, and currently, I'm like right there on the map. This pretty much, you're about 60% of this area is used right now and you have all this extra uh, area that they plan to build on put this back on just because it is a PvP game I don't want people to see where I am on the mini map and come and kill me uh, that you when you're in the PvP areas are there player towns or cities can guilds create guild towns Guilds cannot create guild towns. However, they can own a portion of them. Like uh, this guild right here owns this section of the city. Uh, yeah, I'm talking real quick. Um, currently, they're being ta attacked tonight. They're going to have a 20 man, 20 v 20 battle for control of the town. Um, a lot of the territory fights. Uh, like this little one up here with the red zones. These are going to end up being a five versus five uh, player battle. These little numbers, let me zoom back in, like this 40 in the map here, and zeros, and 40s, and 10s. Uh, those, are, those are defense bonuses. Uh, the longer you own the territory and it only goes to 40, uh, means that you have a 40 defense so somebody attacking your territory would have to defeat it four times before they own it on a zero property um, you would uh, only have to attack it once and win and you would get that territory um, as a player you can actually buy in town yeah did you need me to see if I didn't have any red rubies okay uh, if you're in town and you wanted to, you can actually buy a piece of town land and create a craft shop of some sort and try to generate yourself money. Um, like this one's for sale for 500,000 silver. Uh, they currently had a potion stall on it. You can knock it down and build something else. Uh, so you can actually build inside of towns when you're out in the, the PvP zones being yellow or red. You take over territories, like this little blue one in front of me here is an essence territory. You own it, you're allowed to collect magical essences used in crafting. This little tre treasure chest cove area is called a silver, co co silver coast. Uh, it populates silver on the ground. Uh, so if your guild owns it, uh, you can get uh, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 a day uh, in silver, just laying on the ground, picking it up. Uh, this little yellow one is a farm, so you could end up growing animals and crops. Uh, currently, you can own a castle, uh, and you have to defend it once it's being attacked, because uh, uh, it's almost like an environmental uh, attack uh, your t an enemy force would run up bash down the doors there's NPCs in it they would have to defeat all three waves of d NPCs and then beat a boss and then they would take it over however if you own it you'll get a big message that says your castles under attack you gather all your forces and you go out and you throw them out of your territory these little blue and green little dome area igloos are dungeons uh, the blue ones are harder than the green ones. They are in the PvP zone. They are also in the player versus environment zones. The green zones are a lot easier than the red zones because if you're up in these yellow or red zones and you're in a dungeon, other players can attack you. Uh, let's see. So if I just want to craft, can I? Yes, you can. 
or do you have to be do a bit of everything? Uh, you can, uh, but I wouldn't suggest it. If you wanted to be the best armorer, you would want to choose metal plate or cloth, or excuse me, metal, cloth, or leather, and then you would have to focus on either feet, bodies, or heads. Um, and then you would have to decide if you wanted to do standard armor or rare or uncommon armor. And this is uh, where I'm showing you now is your uh, is your uh, crafting side. And you would basically start off with a, a general pool or a general focus down at the bottom. And as you go up, you would want to fo focus primarily on one item. As you can see, I have one point over in the bows with a little bit going up for experience. I stopped making bows, um, but I could always continue. You can see I got a solid line in single hand daggers, double daggers, and claws, because that's the type of weapons I wanted to use. I was also dabbling in throwing weapons, and you can do uh, knives, axes, or hammers, and they all have different spells and techniques. Um, but you could be a, a primary crafter and just say, I just want to make leather hoods or whatever. Uh, but I would definitely focus on one thing. Your skills uh, all have 10 ranks per node. Uh, wow, this game sounds deep. I enjoyed RuneScape, but the graphics were not the best. This seems to be a better version. The graphics are pretty good. Yes, the graphics are pretty good. Uh, like I said, it, it has a RuneScape feel, but I've never played RuneScape. That's what some people have told me. Uh, it also has an Ultima Online feel to it. Uh, but yeah, you know, like I said, you have tiers, and as you go up the tiers, you get better skills, better stats. You can make uh, different qualities of weapons or items. You can make normal, excellent, craftsmanship, le epic, and legendary, uh, which all add skills. They also add value. Uh, so if you focus on one item and you can get all the crafting uh, bonuses for higher qualities, you could definitely sell them and make money. Uh, every skill has a learning point cost and at the top of the map you can see I have learning points. You currently gain 100 a day. Uh, as the screen shows in front, I need 3,000 fame, which is currently the same as the experience in most games. Uh, so once I get that, it would cost me 24 learning points to get those bonuses, and then I would move up to the next tier. And again, they go vertically. All skills go vertically. 10 levels, and then they also go outwards. Um, so if I ever wanted to get to Enchanted Master Claws, again, I would be up at 10 levels. And you can see, just as this is an example, uh, I would need 768,000 experience or fame points to achieve that level. And I would also need 6,144 learning points, which at 100 a day is like 610 days, 611 days of saving my learning points just to be able to craft that item. So this game will definitely have longevity because uh, 611 days is almost two years just for that one skill. And that's not including the rank 9, rank 8, rank 7, rank 6, rank 5. Everything that you need to get to that top tier master level. Uh, so this game is definitely going to have a long time of playing. Uh, but you could. Uh, if you were in a guild and focused, you could get farther out. Uh, but you don't have to. You could play as a solo player. However, you're going to be limited. Uh, the fact that all the towns got... Uh, let's see. The fact that all towns got separate auction houses so people have to travel PvP maps with loads of goods to trade stuff crap